wanted to give you a little preview of what you can expect in this week's vlog. There will be a uh, book club prep, some writing, uh, getting my hair dyed, which I cannot wait. I'm getting that done later today and I think it's gonna look amazing. And a pre-Hanukkah celebration and a 24 hour readathon. Now this readathon is a little different. It's 24 hours in 48 hours. So you have 48 hours to read 24 hours. Um, it's an event, it's a readathon hosted every month by Ryland and Stasia. Their YouTube channels will be linked in the description. Uh, and I cannot wait for that. So I have a very busy week ahead. So let's just go ahead and jump in. Good morning. <laughs> um, it's, what day is it? Monday. It's Monday. Um, I woke up very tired. I have insomnia during the fall and winter, typically. I have it throughout the rest of the year, but not as bad. And I think I just did not, I don't remember when I fell asleep, but I don't feel like it was like very deep or, or restful sleep. So if I seem a little out of it today, that's why. Um, last night I read, I want to say like 40 pages of something fresh. Um, and I realized I needed to make like a correction. In my previous video, I had said that it was like a collection of short stories that linked together. It's not, it's a novel. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's a multi POV and I, I think I just got confused. Um, because I think my dad had mentioned like that Woodhouse had written short stories and I think I assumed that that was the case with this and and anyway it's it's an actual novel it has an overarching plot it just switches POV um from chapter to chapter but I'm enjoying it I I really want to read more of it actually like I probably could finish it today if I just read from now until I have to start getting for ready for work, but I have other stuff I have to do as well, so that's probably not going to happen. So I will finish it tomorrow, most likely. But um, I'm really enjoying it. It's pretty funny. Uh, some of the characters are just so over the top, but that's enjoyable to read. Um, and we've gotten to the plot, and you know, all the the important players are are there. So. I'm really interested to see what happens next. I think it's going to be hilarious. So I'm really enjoying it. If you want to read a funny book, then I would definitely pick up Woodhouse. Um, I can't speak for any of his other books, but this one's pretty enjoyable. So I just wanted to film something quick to keep you all up to date on how I'm doing. Uh, I... I'm hoping to read two more books this week because I think reading two and a half last week was pretty good. I would like to read more this week because it's almost not quite but almost halfway through the month and I've read two out of the 15 that I said I was going to read so I should probably figure out if like if there's some sort of punishment for me not finishing books from my TBR but I haven't done that yet so I don't know. Leave a comment. Tell me if you think I should be punished for not reading. Not... I'm gonna end this clip. <laughs> Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to apologize. I have not filmed at all today. Uh, Chris, my husband, is on vacation and so we just sort of had like a lazy day where we went out to breakfast and then we just went shopping for a little bit and then we came home and he took a like a three hour nap and I just read. So there wasn't a lot to film. <laughs> um, I did finish something fresh. Uh, I thought like I've been saying this whole time, like I thought it was really enjoyable. I thought it was really funny. Uh, it was full of, of hijinks and it was very amusing. So I had a good, good time. Um, I ended up giving it about four stars and I made some notes so that when I go down to my dad's, we can have like a more in-depth conversation about it. 
and I was going to try to pick up another one of the books that I had um, on my TBR, that one of the shorter ones, but we ended up just watching um, Try Guys for a couple hours. Like, like I said, it was a very lazy day, so I'm glad that I finished a book, um, but I'm not gonna push myself to read another one just for the sake of, you know, finishing it. I will be starting um, my reread of Season of Love tomorrow because the book club meeting that I'm running for it is on Tuesday. Yes, yeah, so it's on Tuesday. So I need to start rereading it so that I can prep the discussion questions. Uh, I would like to have those done Thursday. So we'll see how much I remember slash how far I can get in the book. But that is my plan. Um, Something Fresh by P.G. Woodhouse was really enjoyable. I definitely recommend it if you're looking to get into books that were, were written in like the early-ish 1900s. I'm not positive when the book was written, but I do recommend it if you're a fan of, of that writing period and that, that writing style. Uh, he's he's pretty dry, but I think he does a pretty good job of, with, especially with dialogue, the way he has people like bounce off of each other is, is really amusing. So definitely recommend. I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed and try to film more in the morning. So hopefully you'll have more things to look at, you know, other than just like my face. So <laughs> have a good night. So I just read for about 45 minutes, um, I read about 45 pages of Season of Love, which like I said last night, I needed to start reading today so that I could have it finished by the time book club happens on Tuesday. Uh, so I'm about 45 pages in, I've made a couple notes, uh, I'm remembering details because I, I haven't read it since the beginning of August. So there's a lot for me to uh, remember to develop like the discussion points. Um, you would have seen a clip of me reading uh, and you would have seen on the side of the camera my cat Nala uh, cleaning herself for about five minutes. Uh, so hopefully that was amusing <laughs> because I thought it was really cute. Um, but yeah, I, I'm enjoying Season of Love. I am not expecting to like suddenly not like it. I loved it when I read it a couple months ago. Uh, the beginning is a little hard to get through because like it's all about the character's grief. And, and I don't mean hard to get through because of like the writing or anything. Like the writing is phenomenal. Um, but like I mentioned in last week's video, I have some issues with grief. I'm still grieving the loss of my best friend, and so reading about other characters' grief is sometimes hard. Um, so just going through that, but it's really good. Uh, I'm really excited to continue reading it tomorrow. I, I probably won't read much tonight. I have to go to work in a little bit. I don't have an Audible credit, and the library app that I have has all of the books that are available on audiobook that I'm reading this month, they're all taken. So I have to have holds for them. So I'm probably not gonna read, or I, I'm not gonna read for the rest of the day probably, but I'm not gonna listen to audiobooks until next week when I get my Audible credit, which sucks. Um, unless one of the books that I have on hold at the library becomes available. Um, I mentioned it really briefly in my intro clip that I'm doing a 24 hour readathon in 48 hours. But it happens every month. I try to take part. I've yet to get the 24 hours just because of the way my work schedule is. It makes it really hard. Oh, and I just realized if the readathon is happening this month, I will need an audiobook. 
because I will be doing at least four hours of driving this weekend. Okay, so I have to decide that. <laughs> I have to decide if I'm going to buy an Audible credit and if I'm going to film a separate vlog. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how much I get filmed tomorrow and what's happening the rest of the weekend. I don't know. We'll see. You'll see. And uh, yeah, I'll figure it out. I don't know. Like I said, I'm really indecisive, so I might flip a coin or something. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that's my morning. I have to get ready for work now. Okay, so real quick, I'm about to go to my hair appointment to get my hair dyed, so this is the last time you'll see it this color for a little while. Um, I haven't read anything yet <laughs> today, but I have like a little like writing date with one of my friends later, and then after that I will probably spend the rest of the evening reading before I go to bed, because I have to go to bed early because I work early tomorrow, but hopefully I'll get like an hour or two read later. But and I'll definitely get more read this weekend because of the readathon. So, next time you see me, I will be in the process of getting my hair dyed. And then after that, you'll see what color it's going to be. <laughs> Okay, so my face is red because I got my face waxed <laughs> and there's, you know, traces of blue. It's really bad on my neck, but this is a color and it's, I don't know if you can tell, there's, it's a darker blue that goes into this, this blue, but I really love it. I will be super excited when I get the hair dye off of my skin, um, but yeah, I I'm super thrilled. I think it's perfect for Hanukkah, which is part of, partly why I did it. So I'm going to put a face mask on, get some of this like swelling down. But I wanted you to see it when it was fresh and then you'll see it later through the weekend, you know, as I film clips and it should look more, well, not natural, but it should, you know, be less obvious that I got it like newly dyed. So yay! Hey everyone, I wanted to apologize because I did not film at all today. I filmed, when was the last time I filmed? Last night after I got my hair done. Um, okay, so during my hair appointment, I read a little bit of The Leather Couch and I, I continued reading that at work today in between my breaks. So I've read about, I want to say like 15 more, 15% 15 more um of that and I think I'll keep doing that like at work in between breaks um since I have it on my kindle I'll just like read what I can in between so maybe I will get that done by the end of the month I don't know um I am really trying to remember I've had such a busy day like I worked eight hours today and then I went to the city for a Shabbat thing and I was planning on filming some of that for like b-roll but I just when I got to this place I just didn't feel comfortable playing out my camera um and so I I don't have anything to show you although it, it was a really interesting uh Shabbat slash pre-Hanukkah celebration so I mean I I'm glad I went and I I wish I had been in a, a situation where I could have filmed a little bit but I I didn't, so, you know, maybe in the future, I don't know. Um, but I started listening to Kiss Her Once For Me. I was going to listen to Season of Love so that I could just, like, go ahead and get that done before book club, but I listened to a sample of the audiobook for Season of Love, and the narrator just, like, wasn't doing it for me. So I will primarily focus on that tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's my day off. It's also Saturday. 
I'm going to extend this vlog a little bit. One, because I just, I haven't filmed that much this week, I'm sorry. And two, because of the 24, Escape for 24 hour uh, readathon, that 24 and 48, which I realized I'd been calling it the wrong thing. <laughs> um, so I started listening to Kisser Once for Me this morning, uh, and the Escape for 24 hours readathon started at, I want to say like, I want to say like, 8 p.m. my time. Um, I count. I started my official time at like like nine o'clock um, as I was driving home from the the Shabbat event. So so far I have read. Let me look at my time. Okay, I've read an hour and nine minutes. Um, so I will probably read a little bit more of Season of Love tonight. And then as I'm like going about my day tomorrow, continue with the audiobook for Kisser Once For Me, is it going to get confusing bouncing between two sapphic holiday stories? Quite possibly. <laughs> but I I don't know what else to do. Because <laughs> I would like to get the 24 hours, so that means that I have to pretty much be reading every moment that I can. So we'll, we'll just have to see. Um, but... With today, I have listened to, I want to say, like, two and a half hours of Kisser Once For Me. I'm really enjoying it. I'm actually liking it more than I thought I would. I was really nervous because I loved the Charm Offensive so much that I, I didn't know how the sequel was going to compare. But I'm actually relating really hard with the main character, Ellie. Uh, she has social anxiety, which, like, I don't want to say I have social anxiety, but I do have anxiety, um, and I, it, that does come out in social situations, <laughs> but she also has, like, uh, some abandonment issues, she has some things with her mom, and, like, I already want to pull out my physical copy of Kiss Her Once For Me and find some quotes that she thought about her birth mom, um, and I, I say her birth mom because that's how I refer to the woman who birthed me. Um, <laughs> not to be confused with like my stepmom. <laughs> um, but some of the, the quotes in there about her mother I really uh, strongly related to. So I'm really liking it so far. I think Andrew who is the uh, fake fiance, I think, <laughs> I think Andrew is like the greatest himbo ever. He's very amusing. He gets to be a little bit much, but he redeems himself um, very quickly after. So, like I said, like, I'm having a good time with it. I don't know how I feel about the love interest yet. I... Because it's, it's not a spoiler. Because um, it's in the blurb that, like, Ellie and Jack had this, like, amazing Christmas Eve the year before the story takes place. But we're shown that in, like, bits and pieces, so I'm still not sure why they haven't talked since then. So, um, because of that, I don't know, I don't know how to feel about Jack. I, I don't know if, if Jack is actually to blame, or if it's something that Ellie did, or Ellie made an assumption, or, I don't know. So I want to, you know, continue listening to that tomorrow, probably as I wrap presents, because I need to do that. So... <laughs> <laughs> That's sort of my quick rundown. I'm hoping tomorrow I can film more, uh, fill you in as I, you know, hopefully go through majority of my day reading, hopefully knock out another book, hopefully, because <laughs> um, I'm really running out of time to read these uh, 15 books that I said I was going to read and I've only finished, what, three? So it's that's not the greatest uh, progress made, so hopefully... I can do more tomorrow. But I'm going to probably read a little bit more tonight, and I will catch you later.
Hey everyone, I just wanted to give a quick update. As you've seen, I have been reading during a football game, uh, which I'm actually able to do pretty well. I'm not that distracted. But <laughs> I'm about 50 pages from finishing Season of Love. And I just realized a little while ago as I was uh, glancing at how many pages I have left, the whole reason I was re-reading this book was for the book club that I'm, uh, the book club meeting that I'm hosting on Tuesday, so that I could write down discussion points, and I realized when I was looking for how many pages I have left that there are already book club discussion questions at the end of the book, so I didn't necessarily, <laughs> necessarily need to reread the book. I mean, I think I did because I hadn't read it in a couple months. Um, I forgot a lot of the detail. So I went through and like annotated a lot <clears throat> and I did write down my own questions, but it's nice to have those questions that were already in the book to uh, sort of supplement. But yeah, it was just one of those moments where I was like, oh, I could have read another book that I, I haven't already read, you know, of the 14 other ones, but that's fine. I'm almost done and then I will probably shift to whatever book Siri picks for me next. I'm at almost six hours, so I really don't think I'm going to get the full 24 hours. I'd be very surprised if I do, but we'll see. I still have the rest of today and tomorrow, and it's only close to like 5 p.m., so I have some time. But All right, back to reading. Okay, so I just finished reading Season of Love. I... I, I have the same opinion on it as I did the first time I read it. Uh, I think it's really well written. I think that the love story is beautiful and it does a really good job addressing uh, just past trauma and how that trauma can come up unexpectedly and, and make you react in ways that you have to deal with later. Like it does a really good job of highlighting how the characters deal with their past well, deal with their past and deal with their past mistakes. Um, so I think it's it's really good. I think everyone should read it. <laughs> it's not like, it's very sweet, but not in a like super cheesy way. Like I said, like there's some like content warnings in there about past stuff that the characters are dealing with. So it's it has a deeper, it, it's a, just deeper than, you know, the stereotypical, I think, like, Hallmark Christmas movie or something like that so definitely check it out I think I read so far for about probably like four and a half or five hours I'm at nearly seven hours right now and I finished the book um I'm gonna stop reading for a couple hours I will probably pick up another book tonight before I go to bed um tonight is the Try Guys live season finale for Without a Recipe I'm a huge Try Guys fan, so I'm going to be watching that. Uh, it's supposed to be about two hours, and then we have to deal with, like, hot water heater things. I have to take a shower because our hot water, uh, our hot water heater is leaking gas. Um, it's not a lot, so it's, it's fine, and we're going to get it fixed on Monday, but I have to take a shower now because Chris isn't going to be awake um, in time in the morning for me to take a shower in the morning before I go to work. So... But after I take a shower, I will probably pick up another book. I don't know which one yet. I don't, oh yeah, my fingers are blue um, because of my hair. Because <laughs> there's still some dye in it. Which is another reason I need to take a shower and try to get more of the dye out. Um, but yeah, when I start reading tonight, I will pop on and let you know what book I'm reading. Because I, I don't know. And then tomorrow, um, on my way to work, I on my way to work and then on my way home from work, I will continue listening to Kiss or Once for me. I'm about, I want to say like three and a half hours in now. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's, that's my update. <laughs> hey everyone, it is Sunday the 18th. I'm at work and I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done into my breaks of a very busy day today 
but I'm at about 8 hours and 40 minutes. I think it's very unlikely that I'll reach 24. It's impossible that I would reach 24 hours, actually, now that I think about it. Um, but we'll we'll see what what I can do. You know, I continued listening to Kisser Ones for Me on my drive to work. So that gave me another hour and 20 minutes. Um, it was really good. Uh, I really like the narrator for it. She does an excellent job. We got to, we got some hints at, at what happened the year before between Ellie and Jack, and I'm feeling more forgiving towards Jack because it seems like almost predictably it was a misunderstanding. Um, I think I can predict how the rest of the story is going to go, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to enjoy it. So I'm looking forward to <laughs> finishing my work day. Um, I'm looking forward to finishing my work day and driving home and, and getting to listen to the rest of it. And then I think I will continue listening to it tonight when I get home because I have to wrap presents. So that'll give me some more time before I have a, a phone call with a friend at eight o'clock. So I should be able to, you know, get a good amount done. Like I'm at this point, I'm sort of aiming for 12 hours and hopefully in, you know, months to come, uh, cause the escape for 24 hours is, is every month, you know, at some point in the future, maybe I will conveniently take a weekend off so that I can actually have a chance of actually doing the full 24 hours, but we will see. I just wanted to give you a quick update. So I will check in when I'm back home and let you know how much I was able to read during my breaks and we'll go from there. Hey everyone, um, I just got home. I'm about to start wrapping presents and I'm going to listen to more of Kiss and Wants For Me. I listened to some on my drive home and I'm now at almost 10 hours. <laughs> So definitely not making it to 24. I'll be happy if I make it to 12. And like I said earlier, I have other plans for, you know, in the upcoming months to do better, hopefully. But this was my first one in two months, which like doesn't seem like that much, but like this was definitely my first one for YouTube. So figuring out how to balance it all and plus I you know have to balance it with like Hanukkah celebrations and getting ready to go down to my dad's for Christmas. I should have known that this month was going to be sort of a wash for the Escape for 24 hours but I still finished a book which I'm really happy about so gonna make some more progress gonna fill myself wrapping presents let's see if I can do this without showing any of the presents <laughs> Okay, um, I'm gonna call it. <laughs> I wrapped probably about like half the presents that I need to wrap. I still have, I think like 11 left. I am very tired. <laughs> I, I woke up at like six this morning. I had a full day at work and, I'm, and it's winter and I'm just, I'm very tired. I don't know that I'm gonna read more tonight and I don't want to keep lying to myself. <laughs> um, I, right now, am at ten and a half hours, I would show you, but I am recording on my phone, so I can't. But, yeah, I'm, I'm at about ten and a half, and I, I just don't think I can do any more. Uh, so it's disappointing for my first, like, 24-hour readathon on my channel, but it just means that next time I have a benchmark that I should at least pass 10 and a half hours next time I do a 24 hour readathon. So I am going to let you go. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that I convinced you to read Season of Love or Kiss Her Once For Me because I'm not, I'm a little over halfway 
three of kisser ones for me i'm like trying to wrap up this video without even talking about kisser ones for me which is stupid so let me go back kisser ones for me is really great i'm a little over halfway i believe um and i don't know if i've said it already i don't remember but the narrator for kisser ones for me is amazing i want more books that she's narrated she's wonderful um so if you don't have the physical book get the audiobook because it's great <laughs> but the miscommunication i guess that you know is part of the premise of ellie and jack having a one night stand and then not talking for an entire year like the details have been revealed it was not quite what i was expecting but close um <laughs> And now there's been more development with Ellie's fiance uh, and like what's going on with him. So like, I still, you know, have an idea of where the story's gonna go and I, I hope it's where it goes because even if it's something I'm predicting, it'll still be really fun and I think really cute. So that's where I'm at. I will, you know, finish Kitchen Runs for me probably Tuesday, quite honestly. I have a lot of driving this week. Um, so how do we... <laughs> and he's gonna, he's gonna crash the video. Um, so I will finish the audiobook part Tuesday and I'll have more thoughts in next week's vlog, which is going to be so very busy. I think that's part of the reason I'm tired is just because I've been thinking all day about all the things I have to get done before I start driving down to Arkansas on Thursday. So, which I will... There will be more about that in next week's vlog. So I'm going to let you go because I'm also about to have a phone call with a friend. I feel like today I've just been going, going, going. I'm disappointed that I didn't do the at least 12 hours, but, but I have this guy to make me feel better. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment. I love talking to people in the comments. Subscribe if you want to. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> and I will talk to you all next week. And I hope anyone who is watching who celebrates to have a very lovely first night of Hanukkah. And there will be more Hanukkah content in next week's vlog. Bye.